I've already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Gemini, recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we've got this Queen of Wands. And it's with the King of Swords. So, this, these two cards, they're two um, extremely different type of energies. So, this Queen of Wands, the card that's above the word pass, it can be about being very determined, very determined. And it can be about being a good friend, someone who's solidly on your side. Even though this person could seem a bit self-absorbed, very determined, could be really confident type, very egotistical, used to getting what they want. But it's with this King of Swords. So what this is telling me, Gemini, is that the person that you're dealing with, um, they could have given you the impression in the recent past that um, they were hot and cold about you or maybe the connection. You felt like they wanted to give a lot to it or um, support the connection. Or you could have felt like they were very determined about you and the connection. But then... A lot of times they would seem like they would change on you and be like the King of Swords. It could feel like they would detach from you and um, maybe be, maybe you could feel like they're starting, they were starting to use their head over their heart. Very kind of a cold type of energy, this King of Swords. Um, a lot of times you felt like they went back and forth between being, between wanting to give to this and then not wanting to be in the connection at all. So they go back and forth, wanting to give to it, being determined, and then switching to being detached and cold. So they were hot and cold, hot and cold. That's what a lot of you were dealing with, with your person. That's how they were in the recent past. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Four of Swords. And it's with this King of Pentacles. Yeah, so the King of Pentacles is here. It's telling me that, that you do want success with this person. Because the King of Pentacles can be about um, secure, commit, committed. You could want something stable with this person. King of Pentacles is a really good energy. Um, now, your person could be a businessman or a businesswoman. They might be all about making money. Um, because this person kind of like, they kind of flip-flop on you. That's what I'm getting. They're still in that type of energy. This could be their, just their personality. You could feel like you want some type of break from them coming up. Yeah, they might drain you a little bit. Yeah, Four of Swords, a card above the word present. That can be about just wanting rest after struggle. So it can be challenging dealing with the King of Swords because the King of Swords can also be really forceful. So maybe a person can be, can be mean sometimes. Yeah, King of Swords. For some of you, you could be dealing with a narcissist. King of Swords... And the tarot can be a narcissist, but they switch. They switch on you. Yeah. Sometimes they act like a narc, and then sometimes they don't. But you do want success with this. Yes, you do. Yeah. For some of you, you might think you could change this person, but for the most part, it's showing that coming up, you just... You just be wanting to take a break 
four of swords, rest after struggle, maybe solitude, retreat, you could be wanting some renewal in the connection or just renewal for yourself. Yeah, this person might be a little bit challenging to, to, to deal, a little bit challenging to deal with. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Wheel of Fortune, and it's with the High Priestess. So, the Wheel of Fortune, it's interesting, because the Wheel, as we all know, it's constantly turning, but... It's showing up in your reading, so this is telling me that um, your person, they could feel um, lucky to have you. Yeah, because the Wheel of Fortune can be about good luck. It can, be, it can be about a turning point. It can be about fortune being in your favor. So they do feel lucky to have you, even though sometimes they probably don't show it or don't express it. Like I said, sometimes they do, but then they, they switch on you. They're very attracted to you. The high priestess um, can be about attraction, but you might feel like you want to go silent on this person. Some of you, you're going to go silent on them because the high priestess will just be quiet. Yeah. Four of Swords, we talked about that one. It looks like you just want some a break from this connection. And you might just, just go quiet and silent on this person. They're very attracted to you. They feel lucky to have you, but a lot of times you wouldn't know it. King of Swords is, like I said, it's a strong, mean energy. And you, you would probably feel that type of energy from your person more so than um, any type of other energy that they bring to you because the king of swords stands out because it's so it's so forceful it's so so mean king of swords is the type of person that that will cut you with their words they really don't need a sword but just know that this person they do feel like um they feel lucky to have you well the fortune is here yeah they feel fortunate to have you. But you feel like going silent on this person. You just maybe you just don't want to talk. Yeah, they they flip flop on you, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the three of swords, and it's with the five of pentacles. Now this three of swords is actually about it can be about heartbreak. Um, being hurt. Yeah. You could feel like this person could hurt you. Yeah, so you might feel like, for some of you, you could feel like severing ties from this person. Yeah, you feel like you could get hurt by this person. They're too flip, they're too flippity flop on you. And for some of you, you, you actually know you're dealing with a narcissist. Yeah. You might even feel like they might leave you out in the cold. The Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, so you've got some feelings here. Maybe they did hurt you. The Three of Swords can be about being hurt. Yeah, you just, you kind of feel at a loss when you deal with this person sometimes. Five of Pentacles, the card below the word outcome. It's about being left out in the cold. It can be about suffering. Um, for some of you, you feel that this, for some of you, you feel like this person um, doesn't bring enough security to the connection. Five of Pentacles can be about some type of feelings of insecurity. Or maybe they make you feel insecure at times. But yeah, but for the most part, they do have emotions for you. They're attracted to you, but they just flip-flop on you. Yeah, one minute they're hot about you, and the next minute they're cold. And then you find yourself wanting to take a break a lot of times. Withdraw from this connection. 
and just don't say anything. You sit quiet. Yeah, but just know that they they got emotions for you, and it looks like you you kind of do want this. The King of Pentacles is about success. You might you might still feel like you want success with this, or or for some of you, you feel like you you're hoping you could change this person. Yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, please keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Gemini, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.